And I can honestly say, as a true Anglo-Saxon, I was concerned about coming to a, a French resort hotel. Um, but I've been more than pleasantly satisfied. And we're going to enter the Sofitel suite that we've booked and have a quick look round it before I review the rest of the hotel. So first things first, although this is a suite, I have no idea what I ordered, so I can't tell you what it is, but I will put it into the video uh, before I make it live. Uh, you've got a bathroom as soon as you walk in. You walk into your relaxing area of the suite, which is nice, large, and quite luxurious. And obviously you've got your TV there. And because this is a, an anniversary trip, we've been supplied with a lovely cake and fruit. I think you probably get the fruit actually uh, because we've got access to the club lounge. Over here, you've got your usual coffee and tea making facilities. Inside the cupboard there is a, a mini fridge. You've got some biscuits, etc., etc., and some mini bar products over this side. That's about it for the mini bar, but obviously you can order anything that you want. And the coffee is Illy coffee, which is quite nice. Uh, if we come into the bedroom, uh, before we have a look at the bathroom, a splendiferous bed, huge. It must be um, a super king. And obviously because it's our anniversary, they've, uh, they've gone to the trouble of making a lovely display on the bed. If we come over here, you've got a workstation, and you've got your, your ubiquitous television, with a Samsung soundbar at the top of it and a Samsung subwoofer at the bottom. Now let's go through to the bathroom. Uh, before you get to that though, you've got your wardrobe space, which is quite big, and somewhere for your suitcases to be opened up as well. And then into the bathroom, we've got two sinks, a his and hers. We've got one on the left-hand side and one over there on the right-hand side. We've got another toilet and also a huge standing shower, which is fantastic. But the pièce de résistance of this one is the bath, uh, a nice double bath, so two people can fit in there with ease. You've got the ornate pillars either side and you've got the, um, the window that opens up there, what do you call them? Um, slappers, boards. Can't remember, but they open up all clothes if you want some privacy. And yeah, lovely bath, lovely bath. And what we've got? Oh, Balmain toiletries, very nice. Right, so that's the bathroom, the bedroom, and the relaxing area. But something else that I really like about this, and I've tested the water, and it's a perfect temperature to just get in, so I'll be doing that shortly, is this walkout area. Now you've got two of these. This one's got two sun beds and a, and a table to relax, but you can just step down onto the ledge there and have a nice swim in the pool, which is exactly what I will be doing in about five minutes time. So yeah, that's lovely coming out of the room to that. There's one more space as well on the other side, um, which is over there. And that is where you can sit outside the bedroom with coffee. So that's the room and let's look at the rest of the hotel. Right, so we're in the club lounge and it's the end of a, a wonderful night. Let's just have a quick route round. That's the entrance to it there. So if you've never been in a club lounge before, um, you get afternoon tea for free, which is loads of lovely nibbles, and you also get cocktails and uh, nibbles at night as well. Uh, you can't see it here because it's all been taken away, but we've had spicy chicken, um, loads of hors d'oeuvres. It's absolutely lovely, and it's all laid out here. I've been sipping on Cuba Libre all night, which has been fantastic. Well, let's just go outside. Now the outside bit is actually uh, just into the foyer. Lovely and humid. This is what it's like out here. But yeah, I, I honestly can't extol the virtues of joining the, the club 
enough. It's absolutely fantastic. Loads of drinks and um, afternoon nibbles, evening nibbles. Perfect. And this is the lobby at night time. Uh, you can hear the cicadas just tweeting away in the background. And over to the left hand side. And that's our bike over there. I don't know if you can see, it's the orange one. But yeah, huge lobby, as you can see. Got your checking desks over there. Down there are the bars and the club lounge. Um, yeah, fantastic lobby, huge, absolutely huge. So down in front of us, but obviously you can't see it, is the pool. That over there is, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's the golf. Uh, part where you can hire all your golf buggies and uh, bikes to ride around the resort on. That over there is the club lounge. A little bit further on we've got that bar. Can you see the bar? In fact, let's just walk in and have a look. Have a look at the range of drinks there that you can have. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, you have a happy hour and everything else. And over there is the club lounge. We've been in here, we've had the happy hour and it was wonderful. And then if we just come over here, this is a terrace that looks down onto the pool, which is down there. So that's a pool down there. It's actually a huge pool because all the way around uh, to in front of our room as well, we just step out of our room into it. So re really nice that. So you've got a water bed to lie in when the sun's on it or not, depending what you want. And then simply stepping into the water, which is the perfect temperature, by the way. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, lovely. So down that way, is um, a jacuzzi pool and if we come round this way this runs along the front of the hotel so you've got the road there and then the beach after it and when I get down there I think it's just after the bridge there there's actually a separation in the water uh, a little wall that you've got to walk through because obviously this is private yeah, it runs onto the main pool down there, so you don't want everybody coming through. And actually, there's uh, signs on either side saying that it's a private swimming area, so that's good. Uh, but yeah, really nice, just outside of the room. Fantastic temperature of water, not cold at all. Big recommendation to, uh, to get one of these rooms. And this is the main pool and pool bar area. If we just have a look around. It's absolutely huge, the pool. It stretches down there. There's the undercover bar area and something for the kids to play on there, or the adults if you want. It just wraps around the corner of the hotel and actually uh, this, is, this is the one that's outside our room so you can swim around if you want. But beautiful. So it's just before nine o'clock in the morning, the sun's up and if we look over there, there's a road but just over that is the sea with a beautiful relatively uh, short beach down to the sea and uh, you normally have loads of, of the Thai fishing boats out there as well or you do later on when we come back on the bike so yeah very nice and there's an abundance of, um, of beds to sit on and over on the grass over there there's hammocks and being baggy type things. So before I do a summary of the hotel and the experience um, let's just have a look at some pictures this is a, a, a aerial panorama shot of it. And as you can see, it's a huge complex, a lovely beach in front of it and a massive wraparound pool. It was also in the Reader's Choice Awards for 2022. So that says something about the hotel. The grounds are spacious and stunning if you want to have a walk around, uh, but this is the drive into the hotel. And on the left hand side, you've got the golf course. Now the golf course, I think it's only a nine hole uh, but you can hire golf clubs in the hotel. We use the spa as well. Really peaceful, lovely surroundings. You don't actually think you're in a hotel. You can't hear anything. You can't see any distractions. The rooms are good. Um, all the products are Locketown products as well. You can just lose yourself for an hour or so. 
and as you can see a lovely big spa bath to enjoy as well there's nightly entertainment there's a ritual that they carry out every night but these two singers uh, they were fantastic they weren't too loud the entertainment wasn't trashy you could sit outside take the night in and just enjoy the background singing which they were really good there's lots of little spots where you can just sit down and relax or take pictures the turndown service was fantastic. Probably one of the best turndown services that I've experienced. Really professionally done, slippers laid out, dressing gown, everything that you need was left there ready for you when you come back to your room. There are two restaurants. Uh, the Maya restaurant is a, a Thai stroke Indian fusion type restaurant. The menu was fantastic. The other restaurant's an Italian one. We never tried that though. Breakfast in this hotel, along with all the top class hotels, was absolutely wonderful. You had the option of Thai food, Japanese food, European, Indian. You could eat inside or outside. The fruit was fantastic. The watermelon was probably the juiciest that I had the whole time that I was in Thailand. And something that I'd never seen before, but then I saw at the next hotel, was this donut wall. I actually thought it was just a work of art at the beginning, but no, the donuts were there for you to choose. There's a kids club as well, so that you can get some me time, just drop the kids off and forget about them for a few hours. And along with the, um, with the kids club, there was always things going on down by the pool for kids. It, it, it's a really good place for families from what I can see. So the beach in front of the hotel is a nice beach. You've got to cross the road to get to it. But there's some spectacular beaches nearby. And as I say, we hired a bike, so we were up and down the front all the time. And just down the road, you've got your ferry port. Now, this will take you out to PP, which is where we went to next. Um, again, good value, easy to get to, and on your doorstep. Okay, so in review, um, I'm sat at the Sofitel Hotel in Krabi. And I can honestly say, as a true Anglo-Saxon, I was concerned about coming to a, a French resort hotel. Um, but I've been more than pleasantly satisfied. I would probably um, put it on the same level as um, a Ritz-Carlton or an Intercontinental. Um, but both of those, I would say, normally cater more to uh, a business customer. Um, this is a true family hotel, lots and lots of things to do. If you've got children, there's the pool, there's the play area around by the pool, there's a kids club. If you're an adult, well, I'm sat in the, in the club lounge at the moment and as every one of my videos goes, I always say if you can get to a hotel that's got a club lounge, always upgrade to it. Um, it's so worthwhile. It's somewhere to go throughout the day to get soft drinks, coffee. In the afternoon, you have your afternoon tea. In the evening, you have your, your cocktails and your, your whiskey or rum or whatever it is that you want to drink. So that's always a huge recommendation. Back to this hotel, the service has been exceptional. Um, everywhere where we've been, the staff have, have been very courteous and very helpful. Can't go out of the way enough to help you, actually. Um, the management, I've spoken to the management, they're all on board with whatever ethos that Sofitel have got and they lead by example as well. There was um, the other morning, uh, one of the managers, Luke, uh, my wife stopped him at the table, at the breakfast table and asked for some latte. And what was fantastic was I watched him and he didn't just hand it over to a member of staff and tell them what to do. He actually went and made the latte himself, which was pretty impressive when you see how a lot of manage management work. It's a very large hotel, uh, the spa is excellent, the rooms are excellent. You can also see that there's a golf club attached to it, so basically it's, um, it's got a little bit of something for everybody. The cocktail bar is absolutely fantastic, fully stocked with every drink that you can possibly imagine, and the uh, staff are very skilled on making cocktails. The breakfast was a, a feast to behold. There's everything, um, obviously, when, when you come out to the Far East, they cater to the Japanese market, the Chinese market, the Europeans, the Americans. Um, so much choice, so much choice, oh, and the Indians as well. Uh, yeah, definitely a big recommendation. Up there with the top-notch hotels that we've been to previously. Krabby itself, well, we hired a bike so that we weren't stuck with taxis. Uh, you turn left, you can go into a town. We went down there to get the ferry sorted out to go over to PP next. You turn right, you've got the Ritz-Carlton up the road, the, um, 
thorn that we're going to soon in Phuket, the banyan tree. So where this is situated, it's ideal for the sunset at night, it's ideal for the beach in front. There's a fantastic beach about two miles up the road. Um, yeah, so Sofitel, especially the, uh, the Sofitel in Krabi, a huge recommendation, uh, a surprising recommendation from me, but nevertheless a recommendation.